How many people can you look at in your life and consider them your confidant? How many people can you go to when you have a problem and actually be happy knowing and having that authority that they will assist you in one way, shape or form? A lot of us have many people that we think that is the case until we are in a bit of a pickle, until we actually need that particular assistance from someone that we trust. The truth is there aren't many people that either of us in this world can call confidants. One of the things I appreciate about an institution such as marriage is that in automatic fashion, it gets you to a point where you can call your partner your confidant because you want to spend the rest of your life with that particular person. Nothing is guaranteed in life and neither is marriage in the long run, right? But you are the ones that through those confident building sessions that you have, where you become grateful for having each other in each other's lives, that is when you grow the element of building confidence in who you are to the next person and how they can help shape mold who you become for the future. A lot of us, when we are in trouble, we don't know where to turn, we don't know where to go. And truth is, you first turn inwardly. Think about how people have helped you in the past. Go to your memory bank and see who is someone that even if I haven't spoken to in a very long time, they would still be in a position to assist me. Confidant, someone who will be able to help mold and shape the decisions that you take. Someone when you need an opinion, someone you trust that your opinion will not fall on deaf ears, they'll recognize it, but also help shape their opinion into something in which you can make a decision for taking action. A confidant. Who's your confidant in your life? Who's that one person that if you are in trouble, you can go to? Who's that one person that if you are in a bit of a pickle, they are the person you think about? Who's that one person that when you need just an ear for someone to listen to, though that person is actually there? We don't have many guys. So if you do have that one person, cherish them. If you do that, have that one person, acknowledge them. If you do have that one person, show gratitude towards them. Build your relationship as much as you can so that it's not only through those trying times, but throughout other opportunities that you actually have to grow and pass it forward to other people. Find your confidant. Find your confidant. We all have troubles. We all have needs. We all have desires. Who's that one person that you can share your vision and goal with for your family, for yourself and for people around you? This message is nice and short, guys. Who is your confidant? Find that confidant, cherish that confidant, and then have gratitude for that confidant. Then more than anything, maintain that relationship so that they don't just remain being a confidant from the past, but they become a confidant that goes into your future and goes into your future. My confidant is my wife. I'm very fortunate to have the person that I have in her. She knows my mishaps, she knows my mistakes, she knows my missteps, and yet she's still with me. She's there to guide every aspect strategically of my life, be it finances that we are building together, be it the family that we are building together, be it our goals and overall vision that we have for this institution that I call the Holani household. So my confidant is her. Who is your confidant? Who is building your confidence when it has been broken down? Who is lifting you up when you need that kick so that you are pushed to perform at your best potential? Who is your confidant? I wish you luck in finding that person and I wish you all the best in cherishing and building a relationship that is solid enough to stand the test of time. Starters, I love you and I appreciate you. See you on the next one. Cheers.